When you start to talk about your strengths, you want to use some of these things that you know that buyer, i.e. that interviewer, will value. Today, I want to talk about one specific question that you will get almost every time that you interview, and that is, what are your strengths and what are your weaknesses? When you're talking about your strengths, the way you want to answer that question is you want to answer it through the lens of what the buyer is buying. Now you want to think to yourself, what does it take to be successful in this role? Is it analytical skills? Is it quantitative skills? Is it creative skills? Is it writing skills? Is it problem solving skills? So when you start to talk about your strengths, you want to use some of these things that you know that buyer, i.e. that interviewer, will value. So let's say that you're trying to get a marketing job. Now you wanna say, well, my two biggest strengths happen to be creative writing or it happens to be being a great problem solver. I can think about what's the problem, i.e., what are we trying to say to consumers? How do we want to say it to consumers? What's going to compel them to make an action, i.e., to buy the product? And I'm the kind of person that can look at that as a problem and get right to the heart of what the problem might be. Oh, well, first of all, we need to connect. Second of all, we need to know exactly who's buying. Third, we need to understand what they value already, even outside of our product, i.e. the competitive products that they might be using or that they might be buying. That's the answer if you're interviewing for a marketing role with respect to what your strengths are. Now, when it comes to what's the one thing you think you need to work on, you want to pick something that is not a key success factor for that particular job. Again, if you're interviewing for a marketing role, you don't wanna say that one of the things you need to work on is to be more creative, or one of the things that I wanna work on is my communication skills. Maybe you wanna talk about speaking in front of thousands of people, not speaking in front of a client where there's five or 10 people, but maybe speaking in front of thousands of people. Maybe you wanna talk about something that you're working on athletically, Oh, I'd like to, I can run a mile now. I'd like to be able to run three miles. And there's a certain mindset that you have to have in order to be an endurance runner. And I'm trying to work my way there. Something like that. But it can't be something that is highly valued in that particular job. So when you're going for the interview, you want to spend some time thinking about what the key success factors are and making sure that they are not aligned with the thing you are trying to work on. And if it is, you might want to reconsider whether or not you want to go for that job because you will need to be good at that thing in order to be successful. Or think about some other things that have nothing to do with that that you might present as something that you are working on. And maybe you are working on, you know, your health or you're working on saving differently. Those are perfectly good answers to offer to your interviewer. Go get them.